Are you recording this? Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So there's something I, I was I thought about, you know, for the last two three weeks, and this is kind of extreme thinking here, um, because most of you know that I'm I'm essentially all in on Tesla. I love Tesla. I I got the Tesla car, Tesla hat, Tesla shirts. I mean, whatever the Tesla is, I pretty much buy it. You know, so I'm I'm just all in on on Tesla. So one and and. As a result, I bought a lot of Tesla. So I'm all in on Tesla. I, I got almost 9% of my portfolio like into Tesla stuff. And then and then uh, I own, I'm starting to buy Tesla Precision. But there's a lot of Tesla stuff out there, but I don't know any of these things. I never, some of them I never heard of it. So I went and I went and Google, uh, not Google, but I went into stock analysis and pulled a whole bunch of stuff I want to buy. So uh, just give you a basic. Here's all the stuff. Uh, here's all the fun I want to buy, and here's all the decision point that I the the price. Now this is a couple weeks old. The price here they may change now, but it's just a list. You know, like for example, I want to buy Heinz Coffee. Uh, not coffee. Heinz Company, the Ketchup Company, Coca Cola, Bank of America, General Mills, Hershey Company, Abbott Laboratory. Uh, you know the Peanut and Jelly Company, Homo Food Corporation, Verizon, T and T. I'm going to put Ford in there because I want to buy Ford. All right. But the purpose of this video is not those for guys. All right. Not them. The purpose of this video, and I have Brian here with me, is to talk about what's down here because I don't know any of these guys. All right. So I'm going to put a little space bar here. I'm going to put a little highlight here. All right. So anything in yellow here, Brian. Okay. Um,. So I broke it down and climbed almost in two, uh, two groups. All right. So essentially, they either growth or they income. So like this is a growth. All right. What I mean by that, they're not producing dividends. All right. And um, or they they're not producing high volume of income uh, dividends. All right. So like TSL, TSLL, TSLP, TSLR, TSLTT. These are all long position. Long position mean you you're thinking there's gonna be a a bull market. You know that mean you're assuming Tesla's gonna go up, not go down. All right. So that means the price of Tesla because there's for every one of these long position there's a short position or the inverse position of this. But I only want the bull position. In other words, I only want them to go up. But I don't know them, so that's why that's why you don't see the inverse position. So there's TSL. And then there's the inverse of that version of it. Uh, so um, uh, so let me just prep all this, uh, uh, Brian, then you come back and explain. That's just kind of my thought process. So here's TSL, long position, 1.25. The cost is somewhere around $15. And here's another one, a bull position on 1.5 share, cost is 12 Now remember, I read all these numbers. It doesn't mean I know what it's, they're talking about. I have no idea what these two funds does, all right? And then, but curve, curve yield, Mac premium strategy ETF, I kind of understand it because it's income. Because I've been, I study more income, so I understand what income does. So the TSLP, the income, uh, Grand Night Shares, 1.75 long TSLA, uh, so that's a growth. And then T-Rex, two time long Tesla daily ETF, ETF that also known as TSLT, that's a growth. Potentially maybe, so these are the funds I want to buy and we're gonna go look at them, and in the meantime, I'm gonna turn over to Brian here, so he can give me some insight. Why? Why do they? Why? Why does ETF open a long or an inverse? I guess I don't know what you call. It. I guess I go with long and inverse. What do you mean by yeah. one point two five, one point five? So there's a whole bunch yeah. of questions I want to ask you. Um, okay. okay. With that, I'm gonna. Uh, you you don't need to excel anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other. The other uh, while while you're talking, so this way you can see what I'm talking about. So that's the Excel is what what drive this. Okay, so now let's take a look at the first one, TSL. All right, can you explain to me? Okay, first pull out the max on that. Pull out the max on the, All right. the chart. TSL. All right, here's the max. Oh, so. This is a long bull, right? This yeah. is you want to go up. Yep. So what essentially you have is a long, a 1.25 uh, 
a leverage fund here. In other words, it's going to go up 1.25 what Tesla goes. So, in other words, if Tesla goes up $100, it's going to go up 125 1.25 or however you want to figure it out. I'm yep. not going to do the math on it because I, I do leverage myself. So, But what's going on is when Tesla drops, it drops 1.25 from the share price. And when it goes up, it goes up 1.25 from the share price of Tesla. So, so that's, what you're basically doing here is you're riding it up for the next 10 years if that's what you want to play. So why so, do people buy into it? What's the reason why is who, 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 what type of investor is this? Well, these people can't afford Tesla. Okay, pretty much. Because you're buying a $200 stock when you can buy 15. And like you say, if Tesla goes to 2000, how much is that share going to be? Oh, see, that's why I talk to you. That's why you're the old as Doug right. Bryan. <laughs> I mean, if you're starting a portfolio on Tesla right now and you're yeah. like 20, yeah, I would buy this fund if you if you're a bull and you don't you can't afford $200 a share. That's me. That's bull, me. I'm, the, I'm not customer. ETF, any kind of leverage ETF. Now this could be a short play. You could play this out, you know, and say, okay, well, it's up 15, 20 percent and sell the stuff. Oh, in other words, I, I buy for fifteen and then it go up to let's say twenty eight dollars. Yeah, if you go back to if you go back all the way back to you see what that is? Inception 25, is twenty five, yeah. So, you know, you can see how it's played. This is usually usually I call this a short term buy. Like when Tesla look back there, one look back there where it dipped down all the way down to yeah. way down. Yeah, eight dollars. So if I'd have bought look, if I'd have bought that thing right there. Yeah. 725 which i would have done if i was playing it you could ride that thing all the way up keep going keep moving so yeah. keep moving out to the right right there right there 21 bucks now what kind of profit would you make off of that from seven to 21. oh that's a lot that's that's more oh, than that's double a ton. that's a lot and that's why people are in it because double is so, would be 14 dollars or one percent right. would be 14 dollars and this is right. 21 percent. so this is essentially this is uh, almost right. three times, 300 times. So, so when Tesla drops, like it did, yeah. you see that big dip right there go to the right. Yeah. You see where it went? Yeah. A lot of people going to buy that right, right there. All right. Just like this. Just like Tesla. So but I need to learn how to read fund. the chart we to buy this. Fund. We have a growth fund here. So they're going to ride that 1.25 leverage fund up and then sell it. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Or they, you know, it's a short-term play. And they advise you with any kind of leverage fund, it's for short-term. If you're trying to make profit, that, I mean, it, it, it's just the way that works. Okay. So, I, I guess I kind of. Income. If you want to make income, you could do it that way. There's so many different ways of making it, you know. Yeah. So this and is. The bear a... version. <clears throat> the bear version is you expecting it to go down. So at the same point when Tesla was at 290 and you say, shit, that thing's going down to 200, you'd have bought in right there and rode the wave down and you'd actually made money. It's yeah. like you're. Uh, it's like you're buying puts and selling and buying calls. You know, yeah. So the short the short version that this is the short version of it. And right, right. Oh, you, I see. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Look at when the price is low, it's twenty seven dollars. It's like the inverse of that. I call it flipping. I mean, to make it easy, it's called flipping stock. You know, if, if Tesla's beat up, and you know it's going to go up, say okay, look. You sell the. You sell the. So this is this is more like day trader. So yeah, if yeah. if you because you know uh, Tesla swing like you know one direction or the other. So yeah, it's, so you know it's, Tesla's it's, gonna go up short, this huh? month. So you want to buy the the long, and then if the Tesla's going short this month, you want to buy or not short, but you want to buy. You know you think Tesla's gonna be down, so you want to buy this one, th this version of it. Right. I mean, and it's everybody has their flavor, right? Yeah. Everybody has their flavor of how they want to trade the market. This is for certain people, you know, and 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 if you're if you're playing leverage funds, you're using leverage. They're using leverage, so it go down just as you know the same way. Tesla goes down, so you're going in both directions. Now, like I said, if you'd have bought if that when Tesla was one hundred twelve dollars, if you'd have bought it in this fund at seven bucks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it would have went up to twenty something dollars, and most people would have got out. Yeah, and then went and then went to the reverse, which is the bear case. Yeah, bought into the bear case, which would be about 
you know, seven dollars, eight dollars. Right. You use the bear case, and they they buy it there, expecting it to decline over the next six months. All right, that, and then that they can make, make sense. money on the way down. Yeah. So you're you're pretty much playing a buy put and a buy call game here, is what I look at it. I mean, it's yeah. To simplify. I got it now. I I got it. I think I I think I'm ready to do this. So. So if it's, I'm gonna put a thousand dollar on one of these things here, just just now, to test it out. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, are you want? What is your goal here? Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if I can harvest the income. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I, I think Tesla is gonna go up here this month. So I'm gonna put a thousand dollar Monday, and then watch it go up, and then in December when it okay. go down, uh, I'm gonna sell that out. I'm gonna take that money that I, I made. I'm gonna use that to buy Tesla, or. Yeah, just Okay. Or something like that. Right here. This is the short one. This is the one. Yeah, this is the short one. Right. Right. This is the one say it's gonna go down. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. So let me let me let let's take a look at another one. This one is a little more expensive. Uh this is T Rex. Let's look at the max. Uh it just came out in in October nineteenth. This is the T Rex version of this, and this is this is essentially two time. Long. Yeah, they're doing a daily. That's a daily loan there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that good or bad? Or is that what's your take on max that? Max that up point. Max I'm not familiar with it. Max that max the uh, go up. Go up. Go up so I can see the max. Hit the max. It just came out, that's why. Oh, okay. Well, no, it's no. If it just came out, that thing needs performance. Need to form a little bit. This, if you if you think uh uh, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I like I like to see some some see what it does for a little bit, you know. Yeah. If you want to do it, that's fine. But you know, it's hitting it. You know, when they come out, they hit a certain price, twenty bucks, and you're going from there, just like Tesla did. Yeah. So anything can happen in the first couple months here, you know. So this and fund, you know, this fund under normal circumstance invests in swap agreement that provide two hundred percent daily exposure to yeah. Tesla Eco. To at least eighty percent of its net asset, plus any borrowing for investment purpose. Right, the fund will enter into one or more swap agreement with major global financial institution, whereby the fund and the global financial institution will agree to exchange the return earned of an investment on an investment by the fund in T- Tesla <coughs> that is equal on a daily basis to two hundred percent of the value of the fund net asset. The fund is non diversified. Hmm. So what you got is a day trader going on here, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Inception date was October 18th, 2023, my yep. friend. Yep. That ain't enough time for me to even spit at it. But <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> well, no, I just, it's essentially the yeah, same it's, thing. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a yeah. strategy. You yeah. do X leverage. Yeah, it's You're just a leverage clever. going, it's right. a leverage to yeah. go up on Tesla bull. Okay, yeah. let's let's take a look exactly. at let's take a look at another another one here. This one is income, TSLP, uh, curve yield premium. It's it's going up right now like crazy. I should have bought when it was twenty four dollar. So it, read, it, the, read the thing on it as far as what their agenda is. Uh, no, it's it's brand new. So it's uh well, so it's this thing bad. came out uh, October twenty seventh. So only like last week, and uh, and this is post. Uh, we're gonna go to the fun homepage. But well, it came out twenty five dollar. It's kind of. I need to know what their strategy is. You know. All right. There we go. Okay. So here's their strategy. So TSLP uh, is an enhanced income strategy focused on generating monthly cash flow to diversify multiple sources, including harvesting cover call, option premium, dividends, and interest income. All right. Uh, so they're gonna do. They essentially gonna do. Uh, um, in, uh, they're, they're essentially they, think of like Jeppy. They're going to do covered it's a call. Blended fund. It's a blended. It's got capital appreciation and income in it. Yes, unlike so Tesla, unlike uh, Tesla that does not do any defensive measure. These guys will do defensive does. measure. Yeah, you're going to capture more to upside in this fund. Yeah, you're going you're going to capture more to upside. So <clears throat> basically, you have a dividend payer or just. I'll call it a distribution because it's not actually a dividend. Yeah. So you're uh, you'll have a dis distribution rate that's going to be less than 50 percent for sure yeah you might be running i don't know what it is because it's new maybe 15 but when tesla goes up it's going to go up so, so you're looking 
you're getting cap gains is what we're doing here. Yeah. And you're building your portfolio up. You yep. see what I'm saying? And and you're getting a dividend or distribution. Yeah. So it's an income generator. Yep. And it tracks the underlier. And they're trying to give you best of both worlds here. And you just have some people want all cash flow. Some people want appreciation and cash flow. Yeah. You know. This one looks like it's going after both. They want not just income, but they, they also give you appreciation. In other words, the price. Like Tesla, you know how Tesla dropped to like $11? This one should yeah. not should not drop no, to eleven dollars. No, no, no. As far as they got some, they got some. They got a let's see lower beta underlying stock be used as defensive substitute yeah. for single stock investments. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm sure they got something. I don't know what they're doing with it, but they got something to protect the downside. Yeah. I don't know because it, it ain't giving me enough to even evaluate it. Well, they got. Well, I mean, it's brand the, new. The, the, the philosophy is nothing new. Yeah. No, no so, they own uh, Curve, own AMZ, uh, Apple, yeah, Alphabet, uh, Microsoft, Netflix. They own a lot. They 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 are essentially trying to counter what Yield Max does. Yeah, uh, but their their strategy is a lot different. Yep, a lot, a lot, lot different. Yeah, a lot different. And there's a lot of flavors out there. People want to, you know, a lot of flavors of ice cream. Yeah. Well, by the time this is over with, there's going to be so many flavors of these kind of ETFs now, you know, and everybody's going to pick their little winners. Yep. And how they want to invest, and you have plenty of options. So you know, but the leverage funds are the most dangerous. At, you know, at two when they go down. So I mean, I trade a three X. I mean, I'll do it because I that's what I do. But you know, they are kind of dangerous if you really don't know them. So, yeah. <clears throat> so it's all about you. What's in your strategy? Cash flow, a balance of cash flow and growth. You know. Uh huh. And it. It just depends. I mean, you could go, you could tip in, you can, you know, limp in, whatever, you know, play it out a little bit or something. You know, I'm something thinking about, I'm like thinking. that fun better than the rest. Yeah, I'm thinking about. Just go out, right, you know, I mean, it's just simple, you know. Yeah. Don't get crazy right here with a new fund. That's what I would recommend because, you know. Yeah, I no, what, I agree. I agree. I agree. No, no, but I'm thinking about. I'd like to see what they're going to pay. Their expense ratio is a dollar, so they working pretty hard. Yeah. Ninety nine cents. So. Yeah. Uh, nine, you know. Oh, their ex the expense ratio is is ungodly. Paying an employee here, you know, it's not passive, so they're doing the work. So. And that they're they're getting paid to do the job for you yeah. that you want based on your money. So. I'm thinking about uh putting five hundred dollars on one of these funds. Uh, and then five hundred dollar on this one here, so about thousand uh, dollar, you know, on Monday, and right. and so it's just to see, just to see, you know, to grow with it, and just to, I mean, it's brand new, but I'm willing to invest. That's how I did for my QQY. I I put uh, five hundred dollar for QQY, five hundred dollar for Jeppy, right. just to see, just to see how it, you know, how it looks, you know. Well, you're investing in Tesla too, so you're thinking Tesla's going to go up. Yep. Or you wouldn't be buying Tesla, right? Yeah. So if you're thinking that strategy, then this is a stock you, you might want to buy because your your thinking is lined up with the with this stock. Yeah. So it's the same it's the same thing. So Yeah, so I I essentially stock. essentially once I get my income established, I'm gonna take you know, I get two thousand dollars a month from Tesla right now. Uh so once I I mean I don't need the money right now at the moment because I have a job. Right. So so what happened is I, I have two options. One, I can grow Tesla, keep growing it. Or two, or oh, three options. Two, I take Tesla money and buy some other income. Or three, take the Tesla money, the income, and buy some of these guys here and see if I can just expand out and grow, you know, just, you know, like like TSLP, it's awesome. It, it, if I take Tesla money, Tesla income, and buy TSLP, uh, let's let's say let's say I spend a thousand dollars a month, you know, half of T Tesla uh, income that I earn, and buy TSLP. Well, the good thing about this one, it has uh, capital appreciation, and also it has defensive measures, so it's supposed to go up, and and steady. So it gives you that balanced approach on that, you know. Yeah, well, since you've been in real estate, you know the strategy because you know you you had properties that paid rent. Yeah. We call that cash flow in the business. Yeah. So what you're doing instead of going back into the same property and doing renovations and yeah. putting money back in from the renter, 
you're looking at another property you want to buy. Yeah, yeah, to essentially. Do yeah. the same thing, and you want to make money off of that. Yep. So you're taking that renter's income, and you, you're you going into that property. Yep, so, and buy more properties. That, yep. Just yeah, keep buying properties. properties. Yep. You want more. You want more uh, assets. Yep. In other words, you know, property. I call it property. It is property. You own it, right? Yeah. You. Are you just yeah. want to farm as many assets as possible? And. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I mean. That's the. That's the game. You know. You. Uh. If you're interested in it and you got conviction. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm the only sure. danger with my approach is if Tesla file for bankruptcy. Yeah. Then, then my yeah. whole my entire portfolio is going down the tube because I bought. Mostly all Tesla, so Tesla, I you know, uh, but yeah, you know what? That, that's what that's what investment is. Is it's sometimes it's gambling, and so if you fortune favor the bull, man, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> look, I didn't have all these things back in my day. Trust me, there's a lot to look at. A lot of eye candy right now. Yeah, a lot of eye candy, my friend, and everybody's <laughs> drooling over them. You know. All right, brother, I think I'm in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in a Charles Schwab account for Monday morning. Today's Sunday, and I'm going to put $500 on TSLP and $500. I'm not sure which one, though. So let's take a look at So there's two, there's three of them. There's SLR. There's this one. Uh, no, wrong one. SL. I'm sorry, TSLR. Uh, give me a second. There's TSLR. TSLR is twenty one dollar, all right, and then there's this TSLT, um, TSTLT is twenty dollars, and then there's TSLL, uh, which is one point five. It's twelve dollars fifty one cents, and then there's TSL, which is fifteen dollars eighteen cents. So what I'm thinking about doing is because um, I just want the number of shares. So I'm thinking about buying TSLL, this one right here for, for Monday. So I'm going to put 500 share for this one. So um, they're essentially very, they all do very similar thing. And 1251 for this one. And uh, this one paid dividends? Or oh, quarterly. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at what, let's see what they pay. Let's look at that. 2.57. 11 cents, 8 cents, 4 cents. Good. Yeah, but Ugh. but that's not why why you buy this. You're buying this to harvest the the growth, the 1.5x. Well, sure. And, I mean, now you gonna remember this whenever you buy one of these stocks. Yeah, they gonna move like nuts every day. Yeah, just like Tesla or just like any other leverage fund. Yeah, they gonna move more than you're used to, like Tesla. Yeah, so they gonna move up maybe two percent. Yeah, half the day and maybe down two percent the other half of the day. They gonna fluctuate. So, you know. Yeah, what I probably end up doing is, uh, what I probably end up doing is I'm just going to buy the dip on this. You know, when it drop, I buy it. Right. If it's higher, then I don't buy it. Right now, it's 1251. It's going to keep going up. And uh, 1255 right now in the aftermarket. So yeah, by, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to dip in instead of, you know. Now, like I said, my yeah. call on the market is a nice little trend up. Yeah. And unless, like I said, everything's going to come into play with geopolitical macro and yields and yeah. But everybody's kind of getting into the Merry Christmas season here, and they like to. They done done a lot of selling. I mean, we've had a correction. Yeah. So a lot of them dipping back in, getting the getting every dip that comes down, like Tesla. So they're repositioning for next year. So uh, if you wanted to go in here. And you think you know, Tesla's next price target would be two fifty, maybe? Yeah. So you know that that would be a nice run to the end of the year for all our Tesla fans and everything, because that's a nice slow slog for the next two months. <clears throat> you know. Now I know his calls and all that, but he's got good. I, you know, looking at his numbers, I like two twenty five. All that he has, it's you know you can do those. He's getting pretty tight right in there, but. Yeah. Okay. Do a job, right? That's yep. his job. You know. So. Okay. So it's Thank official. You. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy uh, TSLL for 500. I'm gonna buy uh, TSLP um, for 500. So, and then I'll, I'll the next time I enter it will be on the dip. So when it drop, I will buy it. Now this is expensive. 
because it came out twenty five dollar. I'm already a dollar. I'm paying. I'm overpaying oh. over a dollar already. But that's okay. I mean, that's beginning. what DCA means. Beginning. You just DCA beginning. down with it. You know. Yeah, I mean, you're in. You, that's a that's more of a long term strategy too. If you're gonna look, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, doing. You don't I, have to. You know, if you're just getting in here and and you don't, you know, you're saying long term. Well, shit, it might go down here. It might go up. I, well, if you're in that long time, you just buy it. You know, and forget it. You won't remember this trade two years from now. Yeah, oh, you know? I to, I totally agree. I, I can't even remember the trade I bought Tesla. Uh, <laughs> I bought so many Tesla. I, I can't remember any other trade okay. anymore. <laughs> buy, it, buy it and forget it. Don't say, oh, that's a bad decision. Just buy it. I mean, if you're going to buy it, buy it. Be convicted about it and do on. I mean, yeah. what's next, you know? And if it don't pan out, you can always deal with that asset. Yeah. You know? uh, first of all, it's not, it. it's not that much. It's At, at the end of the day, it's $1,000. Yeah. I'm... I, I can I can right. I'm getting three thousand dollars a month, dude. Three thousand dollars a month hey, worth of dividends you that, I, that flow, it's not even friend. allocated. You got, you got a lot of cash flow right now. You can do about <laughs> anything you want. Yeah, and you, and you put money in too. Yeah, so yeah. you see what I'm saying? You're funding it too. You're funding your own bank. Yeah, I fund my so, own bank, which is a thousand dollar. I mean, essentially, it's four thousand dollars a month of investment. If you think about it, exactly. This exactly. is why I went in dividend income. I, people make fun of me the whole time; they always laugh. But, dude, look at the position I'm in right now. Yeah, cash flow is cash flow. No matter, I don't care. Cash is king. Says, cash is king, you, brother. You have to have cash flow. I mean, you have to. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm buying essentially a growth stock here, TSLL, for. Twelve fifty one, and I'm gonna grow with it, and uh, it just it just it just kind of diversify my my portfolio a little bit. Uh, right. I probably depending on how the curve yield max pay. Oh my God! If this thing paid on the third week or the second week, third week or second week, right. I'm gonna throw a lot of money into it. I I may just buy QQY and just stop, and then you know I I only have to do it for four months. That's it. QQY for four months. I'm done because we're going to reach a thousand share, and then I'm going to transition to all these guys, and then just start buying all these other funds. I may I may own Tesla, Netflix, Microsoft. I may just own all four or five, depending on how they pay. Because this way, I I ensure that I get one thousand dollar payment every week from every one of these funds that I own. I'm going to get one thousand dollar from QQY, one you know, well two thousand dollar from Tesla, and one thousand dollar from Clips. And like I said, depending on how the, the, we don't know yet because the the di monthly dividends hasn't right. published yet. But depend how they pay. Uh, oh my God! Oh my God! So this. If any any hater wants to come in about this stock, yeah, they need to get out of investing because it's got a balance. <laughs> it's a balanced approach. This is what the old school you get. Dividends yeah, this, plus appreciation. This is old school. And stacking, stacking your dividend is what you're doing. So yeah, this is know. remind me of that Global X. Uh, what is it? That not. Um, uh, let me let me let me type Global X first. It's the it's X Y L D. No, no, not the X Y L D. The Q Y L D. X Y L D. Yeah, but it's the one that's for growth. It's they they have one that's for growth. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. It's the H Y, yeah, H Y L G. Like for example, yeah, they do 11. cover call. Uh, well, this is a healthcare one, but let me find. It's begin with H. There it is, right there below it, right there below it. Isn't it? I thought. No, I thought it's. Um, you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for. Maybe Q Q Q ish or S five or something. Yeah, yeah. So no, think of like think of like uh, Q Y L D, but this is the the the. The cover call, but with growth. It it's it said just like that. It it, it literally wow. said like that. Cover call and that's growth good. ETF. Now that's a good ETF if you ask me. Yeah. Because it's healthcare. Healthcare is just a. I'm gonna tell you what a core stock is. Yeah. That's healthcare. That is what we call a core stock. Yeah. So United Health, because we always gonna have healthcare. So now, it might be up and down. Yeah. Yeah. But so do you see how like thing. you see how like right. you like QYLD. Uh, price has dropped like from twenty five dollars to like sixteen dollars right now, or X Y or Y L D, you know. So well, these guys here because they have growth, they are very similar, uh, similar to the curve yield max. They supposed to, they supposed to, you know, you're not supposed to drop to like eleven dollars, you know. It's supposed and to balance out. Yeah, they're running a fifty percent strategy on calls, so that yeah. means you're looking fifty fifty growth. 
yeah. with the yeah. with the call strategy, which gives you the dividends. Yeah. So uh, that's why that's why I think uh, I I kind of like. Well, let me take a look at this. I haven't looked at it. When are they? Well, they the pawn their payout is the same, and their dividends not really sure. that good. But you know, Absolutely. but but at least you have price appreciation. Well, All right. Let me uh, tell you about healthcare stock. You're gonna pay six hundred dollars a share for healthcare stock. So if you're looking to get in the health, this is just an easier way to get in without putting a ton of capital. Yeah. So you know, if you're doing thirty year plan, well, there you go. Hey, I got something going on. I can just set it, and forget it. Yeah. Let me invest a dividend. Let it buy more shares or put a drip on it. Buy more shares over a longer period of time. That's yeah. another strategy, you know. Yeah. So you know. I love it. Safer, I love it. Safer strategy. Okay. You know, safer. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop the video here. It's 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go buy the fund. I'm gonna go buy the, uh, I'm gonna go buy these two with a thousand dollar, and then I'm gonna rest. Now, I could take that thousand dollar and buy QQY, but I think I, I, I just think I just want to get into the position. If I don't get in, the problem is I never get in until like. Like, I'm just not going to get in. I'm just not going to get in until like six months later or maybe a year later. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it now. Because once you buy it, I'm looking at it every day. And then, and then I have to make a decision. So with my contribution, so do I put some money into it or do I ignore it? You know, but at least I'm thinking about it. But if I don't buy it, if I don't own it, like like Spy Eye. I've been talking about buying Spy Eye since its inception. It's crazy. Um, and and look, how many ta- look, how, look at all the opportunity I missed. I've been trying to buy uh, Spy Eye right since now. since January, right? So I want to I want to own Chepi, J E P I, J E P Q, and Spy Eye. Those three. And guess what? I don't own those three because I keep saying I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. And then now it's October. I uh, start in January. I mean, almost eleven months. Uh, no, it's November. I'm sorry. Eleven months later, I still haven't owned Spy Eye. But look how much money I'm missing. I'm missing like. Five dollars and seventy six cents, pretty much. <laughs> you know, imagine yeah, I own okay. it from the very beginning. Um, you know, it's it, okay. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, we're you're in it for the long haul. Yeah. Don't look at what you miss. Look at what you're gonna gain if you get in it. <laughs> That's get that out of your head. Get that out of your head. Oh, I could have done this back then. If you, well, yeah. But is that really what you focused on, backwards or forwards? So, you know, I agree. Don't worry I agree. It, man. Don't worry about it. All right, thanks. You were working on something else back then, and you wouldn't have that three thousand dollars worth dividends. If, if, yeah. You know. So you know. All right, everyone. Hey, thank you watching. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, YouTube videos. Uh, like I said all all the time, you're you're more than welcome to subscribe. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, what I like more than so, more than anything else, I want to make friends. I don't need fans. I don't need subscriber. You don't have to join the Patreon. You don't need it. What I'm trying to create is community of friends, of like mind investor. Instead of going to your local YMCA, local library to join an investment club, we're now we're doing a global investment club through Discord, and we're all friends. All of us here are good, good friends, and we all have one common goal, and that is to get rich. So we can be financially independent, and some people want to retire early, and some want to retire later. But it doesn't matter. We want to be financially independent. So uh, yeah. So if you're subscribed, uh, that's what you're subscribing to. So not subscribing uh, to advance you, my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to advance a YouTube channel, go go advance somebody else's YouTube channel. What we want is friends, so you can come out here and hang out with us and talk and share your ideas and thought. Like Brian just look at this. Brian spent. 30 minutes of his morning today helping me invest and he's an experienced investor very experienced make millions of dollars and he doesn't have to help me but the reason he wants to help me because he's a good dude and what we're doing and what we're growing a good community um so he's helping other people you know that's uh, you know it, it, this is this is a great community and when you come to our discord you understand it. you look at the discord it, this is just this is sunday morning at 7.37, look how many people hanging out with us just trying to figure out how to make more money, get rich. And some of them, And once I stop this recording, we're going to have some more dialogue and conversation. And, you know, it, it's just crazy. It, it, it just, yeah, so that's why I say welcome, you know, come to our community, hang out. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, peace out. Take care, everyone.